Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this, a brand new day. Yes, indeed, a brand new day, wherein I've once again put my PS4 camera right up here where my normal Logitech webcam camera goes. I've put my Logitech webcam camera over here on top of the console monitor. Wanted to make sure I wasn't slamming my keyboard garage with my chair over onto that monitor so that I can be just as I choose swapping between the two of them with no great danger on getting them clicked together because they're all I have to do is turn a little bit so thumbs up for that does it have anything to do with anything at all no but I'm just letting you know also one of the reasons I have determined that this camera looks better than this camera is when the PS4 camera is recording, there's, I don't know all the details on hardware and software for cameras. And so I'm just letting you know some of the measurements and such, not what the measurements mean. But if you can see the difference between the two measurements, you can see why things are the way they are. There's something known as the data pass through, which it's the amount of for what I've been able to figure out is just the amount of data that is stored in the video stream. It's just data, you know, detail, all that. So when I record off of my webcam over there, it generally records at about anywhere from 15 to 20 frames per second, sometimes up to like 20, 25 if the light is really, really good. Excuse me but it has a pass-through rate of anywhere from like 2 to 4K. Not a ton of detail being saved. When the webcam camera from the PS4 over there records, its pass-through rate is about 10K. So it's recording three times at least the detail that that camera records. No matter whether I'm going 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080, it's just the PS4 is recording three or four times the data that the Logitech webcam is recording. Hello. <laughs> I don't know why I was talking to the camera like that. And so that's a big difference on why the PS4 camera looks really good even though I can see artifacting and all that and that one looks okay but not really really wonderful so thumbs up on that past that though my life has been moderately dull <coughs> once again I had a falling asleep issue yesterday and I lost about three or some odd hours to just falling asleep in my chair. That's what happens when you have insomnia and you don't sleep anywhere near as much as you should. I'm lucky if I get five hours of sleep a night, so I know that that negatively impacts my health. Thumbs up on that. For whatever reason, this hand still keeps drifting out like this. Oh, they're, they're centered. No, they're not. I gotta bring this one back over like that. Dumb. And I don't know why it's, it's drifting. It's strange and unusual. I mean, here, I was doing this again. It's like, here, I'm centered. I wonder if there's something going on with uh, like my brain or something. Then there's always something going on with my brain. There's something always going on with all of our brains. How about that? Oh well though, but past that, just, I survived, I ended up not going walkies last night, at all. I had the opportunity to take a late walkies and didn't. You see, this is something that I don't like about what has happened in my head now that I've been going to therapy so much. After I lost half my body mass, went from 325 pounds to 160 pounds. After I lost all that body mass, I had a raging case of anorexia for years. 
If my weight went up above 170, I would stop eating. For the longest time, I ate once a day. Just once. And I would have like potatoes. And then I wouldn't eat anymore until it was the next day. And so my weight was always like between 170 and 195. About a year ago or so, my anorexia went away. I don't have that kind of eating issue anymore. I'm not fighting to get nutrients into me. Now I have to fight to not eat. Because if I buy anything at all that's edible, that's not a full meal thing, full meal thing, you know, like a can of chili or a plate of spaghetti, if it's just like a snack thing, a bag of chips or a, a, a box of donuts or just w w imagine the snack food of your choice, I will eat the whole thing in a day when it should last two or three. And if I have two bags, if I have two bags of those, I'll eat them both. I'm at like 203, 205 pounds right now. And oh boy, I don't like that at all. But my anorexia, not even a peep, not a scratch, nothing. <clears throat> down inside the cave where it used to be hiding it's empty down there it's all quiet doesn't it doesn't smell like anorexia animal anymore and it's there's dust everywhere so I've got to really work hard on my weight <clears throat> I don't want to get heavier than I am. In fact, I've got to eat a lot less. I've got to stop buying anything at all except for major foods. And I've got to make sure to just only eat at a small amount because I will happily eat from boredom. And that's not good. I have had to stop myself from wandering around down in my kitchen looking at the food that I have and realizing I'm not hungry. I'm bored because I am a human being and I will eat from boredom oh joy so that's that's fun and exciting and special I'm happy to be to I'm glad to not be anorexic anorexia is terrible it's not a good thing but I don't want to get heavy again either or heavier at this point since I'm right at 200 Ugh. I am at my, you know, ages <clears throat> 19 through 23 rate, rate, weight, because that's the weight that I was at when I was in the Air Force. So I weighed now what I did when I was in the Air Force at ages 19 through 23. I'm not, <clears throat> oh, that hurt. I am not immense. I am not massively bloated. I just really got to keep an eye on this. <clears throat> Especially since I didn't go walkies last night. For whatever reason, I stayed in. I played some video games, and I didn't play others. I've been playing the game Wrath of Ruin? Wrath of Aeons? Wrath of Aeons. Wrath, Ruin of Aeons. It's a weird freaking title. It's like something I would do. But I've been playing a lot of that, and oh my god. Talk about an a throwback to the 90s. People on the, I can't remember who makes it, but it's a throwback using like the Quake 1 engine. But there haven't been any updates on it for two months. And on the forums, people are just like, uh, is, is there any words? Is there anything? It's, we haven't heard a thing from the devs. But it is so intensely old school. The maps are incredible, huge. I spent an hour trying to find out what I needed to do, where I needed to go, and how to progress on the one map that I was stuck in. Ugh. Doesn't help that their save system is a checkpoint type system. You can either 
save once per level on a shrine, or you can find soul tethers. Now what the soul tethers are is it saves your progress right wherever you use the soul tether. So when you die, you can either resurrect at your soul tether, resurrect at the temple, or restart the level. <clears throat> Where you are progress-wise doesn't really matter because doors stay open and such like that, just like in all games, but every other thing resets. All the beasts are reset, all the pickups are reset, your ammunition and your inventory is reset to when you died, it's just that the major things like doors and such like that stay open. So it's fun, but boy is it also intensely frustrating, and that is fun. Frustration is joyous. But as well, I have of course been working on my cosmic horror pantheon with the Angakira and of course the Gakira, which of course there's only one, Amagaratsu, but I was talking about how the one Angakira, Tama, I can't even remember the name, but it's, it's a wolf-like, pack-like cosmic horror, and it runs and runs and runs. And I was talking about how the story where it finds a person and it spends the night just talking, doing something different from what it normally does. The reason it's out walking is there are, as mentioned in the story, only one of each of Amagaratsu's children. Only one. And these creatures can do almost whatever they want, except for one thing. Since there's only one of them, plus their 11 siblings, there is no couple. There is no other horror pantheon creature out there for them. They are alone. They can do whatever they want except reproduce. And so, this cosmic horror who runs with his pack every, like, you know, like at once a week, once a month, all of the females in the pack come into heat. Now, of course, this cosmic horror can engage and has engaged in mating behavior but it can't reproduce and it runs with creatures that live and die so the pack is always changing as old age injury disease and death and they pick up new ones and they pick up new ones by birth but any female who mated with the cosmic horror, their short and tiny life, there'd be nothing that mating season. They would be wasting their time to engage in mating behavior with the cosmic horror. While all of the other females around become gravid with child, this one will lose out on the mating season. And this cosmic horror would tear the heart out of the very multiverse itself to protect any one of its pack. So it is not going to force any one of its pack to engage in mating behavior and come up with nothing to be barren for a season. And so, when all of the others, hormones running high, females in heat, everybody is engaging in mating behavior, and he spends that time just walking, going out and looking, finding interesting things, having conversations. So thumbs up for that. And hey, I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab, and I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Thank you very much for having taken the time and expended the calories.
If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. We're just not good at that sort of thing. And of course, if I forget where I am, even though it's because even though I count in American Sign Language with my fibro, brain damage from alcoholism and more, I'm amazed that I can even remember my name. <laughs> that one sort of faded out there. Anyway, to my Chrome. We have Man Mason, thumbs up and thank you. Confused Owl, greatly appreciated. Panda Boy, thumbs up and thank you. Cameron Rochambeau, thank you very, very much. Bailey Snyder, greatly appreciated. Elder Wolf 569, thumbs up and thank you very much. Brutish Wing 2.0, thumbs up. Trap Town in CIS, greatly appreciated. Trap Beats Flea, thumbs up. And then we have Richie B76, greatly appreciated. And Russian Timing, thumbs up and thank you. Vegas Underscore Girl, greatly appreciated. And Sebastian Ferris, Blorg. Dalton Williams, greatly appreciated. Kai Machiavelli, I bet I'm not anywhere close, but thank you very, very much. Just Geo, thumbs up and thank you. Gabriel Paiva, I bet I'm nowhere close, but thank you. Max Marco, thumbs up. Potato Tron, greatly appreciated. Thumbs up and thank you. And then we have Anime Fan, greatly appreciated. And Ali Shabiri, thumbs up and thank you. Colin Reisner, thumbs up. Ice Damon, greatly appreciated. And that's it. We hit 22 people that left me comments on my community tab. Thank you so much. It is greatly appreciated. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. It is appreciated to no end. Definitely a thumbs up. And of course, if you could check out my various links, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. If you'd like to help support me but don't want to send money to one of those, I have a PayPal link down below. If you could check that out, that would be very cool. And if you want to support me but you don't want to send money, I have an Amazon wish list link down below with things like hamster food, hamster bedding, cat food, silly things. If you could check it out, that would be very cool. Now, do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. Definitely a thumbs up. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel and <coughs> hit that bell. That would be very cool, greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are down with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until the real end of time. Definitely a good thing. Which camera am I gonna end with? I have no idea. I have too much fun playing around with this sort of stuff. I, I get, I'm still gaining subscribers. I went from 182,000, well 181, to 184,000 over the past like year. But my views, my view time keeps plunging. Thumbs up. But as stated, no matter what, even if I had five subscribers, I would still be playing around with the video and, the, and doing all this. It's fun. Definitely a thumbs up. So, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend. And that is a very good thing. Be good to yourself. Take care. Don't 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 be hard on it on yourself for any reason. It's a hard world. Just be good and definitely a thumbs up. I will see you on the flip side, my friend.